in this video I'm going to share with you a two-step method to figure out if money is a real problem while you're not delivering on your business idea for Africa. Hey, what's up? My name is Eris and welcome to Diaspora Achievers. In this channel, I take the African diaspora on a journey to building businesses that impact Africa, change the African narrative, and help you attain true freedom. So if you're new here and want to be part of this journey, here are your first two steps. Number one, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below this video and make sure you click on the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I release a new video that helps you make an impact on the continent. And number two, take a look at the description section below this video and then you'll find a bunch of resources that will help you right now to make uh, your first step. So the reason I'm putting this video together is that I'm getting a lot of questions or complaints around, hey, I'm not <clears throat> making any move because I need money, I don't have enough money, and all that stuff. I just run a summit for Africans in the diaspora who want to start a business and impact Africa. And one of the questions or one of the um, feedback that came back a lot was around, I don't have enough money. So here's what I'm saying. So if that you as well, I want to help you figure out if money is really your problem. Because sometimes you may think it's a problem, but if you really dig down and look into it, you'll realize that that's not your biggest problem. It may be something that you need to address. It may actually be easier than you think to solve, but it may not be your biggest problem. Let's get into it. And the way we'll go about it is to really try and figure out is money really a problem or are you tricking yourself and are you using it as an excuse not to do, not to start your business or not to, you know, proceed and move up and move forward in your journey. All right, so here are the two tests. First one is to write down exactly how much money you need for your business. It doesn't have to be, you know, plus or minus 100%. You cannot, you can't say, yeah, it may be, you know, between 100 and, and you know, 500,000 or between 5,000 and 10,000. You know, you may be able, you should be able to um, provide a number that's closer, right? Essentially plus or minus, I would say, you know, 20, 30%. And this number should really come from your research. You really should be able to know, okay, if I want to start business A, I've done the research, these are the four, five, six steps that I need to complete in order to start to deliver my business. And I need to have done research in order for you to be able to do that. So let's just say you did that research and you have a, a number, then you move on to step two. The second step is really around figure out with that amount, let's just say it's $10,000, how am I gonna spend that money, right? What are the different areas that require money? And then once again, it cannot be plus or minus, you know, 50%. It has to be, you know, uh, plus or minus, I would say, you know, 10, 20%. Obviously it won't be, actually it should, but it may not be 100%. So I would even say, you know, plus or minus 10% because you're just starting out. You're not building a, you know, a gigantic company. So you've done your research and you, you know exactly how you're going to spend that 10 grand that you know that you've identified that's what you need. And from it, you can go in and say, okay, here's what I'm going to spend $500, two grand, you know, 800, 650, 250, 125. You know what I'm saying? Break that budget down. And that's it. So this is, and that's your, that's your only test. But there are big assumptions around this test. Number one is you've done the research. Right, because if you haven't done the research, then you cannot come up with those numbers. And then the better the research, the more precise, the more refined the numbers. Right? Obviously, if you haven't done a lot of research, your numbers are going to be really vague. If you've done a lot of research, your numbers are going to be really precise and close to reality. And then the other assumption too is that you are motivated enough to have done a thorough and in-depth research in terms of figuring out how much money you need and where you're gonna spend it. You've done that research without or before having the money. And then the reason I'm saying this very point is I've come across a lot of people who are saying, well, I don't wanna spend the time, I don't wanna spend the money. And the very reason why I'm bringing this point up is I've come across a lot of people who are saying, I don't wanna spend the time and my energy because I don't have money anyway. So what's the point of me you know, trying to figure out how much I need if I don't have money? right so it's basically to me it's really backwards right you cannot say i need money in order to figure out what i'm going to do with the money you know what i'm saying so it's really to me it's really an indicator of how much energy motivation you have to solve that problem and effectively to start our business because essentially to me business is just 
uh, solving problem. So if you're not ready to spend the energy, spend the time to figure out how much you need and how to spend it in order to uh, start your business, then I'm going to really question you and say, how motivated are you about starting your business? How motivated are you about solving the problems uh, for these folks that you, business, you want to create a business for? Right? So in that case, going back to the top of this video, is your problem money or is your problem motivation? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you should really ask, if you haven't done that exercise, you should really ask yourself, you know, am I really motivated or I'm not, am I not motivated and I'm using, I'm really using money as an excuse because I'm not motivated. And then to, and then with that point, let's just say you came up with uh, the number and say, hey, I need X amount of dollars. Now you can go back and start either saving, working extra hard, whatever the case may be, because you have that target and you have the motivation that says, okay, I need X amount of dollars and this is uh, how I'm going to spend it. And on the flip side, if you also wanted to go and ask money to somebody, you could say, here's my research, here's how much I need, here's I'm bringing to the table, and that conversation is going to be easy. They can either refine and say, hey, you can, either they or you can refine that number and say, hey, this is something that you don't need money, you can easily find somebody who will do it for free, or you can have that conversation and say, I don't need your money, but if you can solve that problem for me or fix that task or do that activity, then boom, right? Or in your circle, you can have somebody who's, I don't know, a developer or who has expertise and you say, okay, my contribution to your business idea is to deliver this. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have that number, if you don't know how you're gonna spend it, again, I ask myself, how motivated am I to solve that problem? Is it a money problem or is it a motivation problem? All right, so my question for you is, do you know how to figure out how much money you need, right? <clears throat> Just say yes or no in the comment box below. If you don't know how to figure it out, especially if you're abroad, if you're overseas, and you're trying to get into a sort of business in Africa, and then you don't know how to get the information, just let me know, uh, yes or no. If you say yes, then yeah, you know how to figure out uh, the budget and how to break it down, then you're good. And hopefully you know exactly how much you need. And if the answer to that question is no, then you can you know just say no below. I need, I don't know how to research and I'm happy to put a video uh, for you in terms of trying to figure out um, where to get the information or how to get the information. All right, peace.